Welcome to Managing Metrics, a series of videos highlighting contact center metrics that matter to managers. I'm Bruce Belfiore, CEO of Benchmark Portal, here to talk to you about the shrinkage metric. In this video, we will define the metric and its component parts, discuss how it relates to other key metrics, and note how important proper management of this metric is to your financial and operational success. This video is brought to you by Benchmark Portal, the source for contact center training, certification, benchmarking, and consulting. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button so that you can keep receiving free educational content just like this. Let's define shrinkage as a contact center metric. It's a staffing metric that is very important to your workforce management or WFM function. It is shown as a percentage and calculated by taking the total amount of unoccupied time i.e. time not logged in and available for any reason, divided by paid time. Stated another way, it is unproductive paid time, which requires additional agent headcount to result ultimately in proper staffing. The components of shrinkage include paid breaks, unplanned absences, including paid sick hours, coaching sessions, team meetings, training, vacation or PTO, paid time off, FMLA, paid family and medical leave time off, and unaccounted time. Shrinkage is a big universe that pulls in all reasons employees are not logged in and available to service customers. While shrinkage is generally considered paid time shrinkage, depending on the rules of the country and the company, workforce managers need to take into account both paid and unpaid shrinkage. They must also take into account planned and unplanned shrinkage, controllable and uncontrollable shrinkage. All types of shrinkage must be calculated into staffing requirements to ensure the rostered staff is sufficient to net the seated logged in staff needed to meet service targets. This table gives you the basic concepts. If you need 100 seated logged in agents to meet the projected service levels and you forecast the shrinkage numbers shown here, that will point you to a 30% shrinkage level. Of course, from the finance department's point of view, any kind of paid shrinkage feels the same. From the operations workforce management point of view, unplanned shrinkage is the one which is the biggest challenge. Naturally, things can get more complicated. Shrinkage may vary by shift, by day of week, time of day, and season of year. Workforce management data gathering includes shrinkage history to support planning of shrink. People who are new to contact centers and workforce management often are surprised by the level of overall paid shrinkage that exists in their centers and how the percentage of projected shrink impacts the number of scheduled reps or agents they need. This table illustrates the dramatic effect that 10% increments of shrinkage have on centers. Note that even though each line represents the same workload, as shrinkage increases, more agents must be scheduled to net 26 available reps. To underline what is already apparent, shrinkage, especially unplanned shrinkage, is an important metric for management to follow for several reasons. The impact of shrinkage mirrors that of attendance in many of these areas. First, it has operational importance because people who don't show up make it more difficult for the center to handle the incoming call load. Second, it has financial significance because unintentional overstaffing pushes up costs needlessly. On the other end, understaffing can result in abandoned calls and lost business and can negatively hit quality and customer satisfaction. The trend toward at-home agents, which was boosted by the COVID pandemic, has actually had a positive impact on shrinkage for many centers, as has been the case with the attendance metric. Issues of weather, traffic, non-severe illness, etc., are less of an influence on unplanned shrinkage. Employees are more likely to log in and work their shift if they can stay at home to do it. And now a question for you on shrinkage. Currently, what is the greatest challenge posed to your center by shrinkage? Please let us know in the comments below. We'd love for you to share your thoughts and ideas. You can also find links to some of our other valuable resources in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to get great content delivered to you. Good luck optimizing your shrinkage metric. I'm Bruce Belfiore, 
Thank you for joining us on this episode of Managing Metrics.